This is how to easily edit out people in Ida's Paint. First, you make sure to select the lasso tool. You go to the surrounding area of the person you want to edit out and you copy and paste the background onto the person. Since I was just doing a blue background at this point, it was really easy to just overlay the background onto the person and make it look as cohesive as possible. I recopy and pasted another one just to get to the smaller details. Then I moved on to the more complicated rock part of the background. Again, I copy and pasted the rock and make sure to line up the pattern with the actual person. I noticed that the hand was left over originally, so I went back to the original blue background and moved it just a little so it would cover the hand. I recopied and pasted the rock and I reoriented the direction just a little so it wouldn't look too repetitive and artificial. Then I moved on to the sea floor. This was more complicated because it was not a cohesive pattern. I chose a specific part of the sea floor that had rocks so I could also match it up with this rock you see here. I copy and pasted it there and I tried to make sure to line up it as well as I could. Next, I moved on to the giant rock in the foreground as well. I copy and pasted a section of that rock and just moved it around to try to recreate the entirety of the rock. I kept adjusting the size and the shape so that it would look as realistic as possible. Then I noticed that there was a bit of extra leg peeking out, so I went back and modified part of the ground to copy and paste it onto that part of the leg so it would remain hidden. Finally, I moved on to the feet, in which again I just copy and pasted a relatively dark background so I didn't have to do too much major adjusting for it to look cohesive. Finally, I collapsed all of my edits on this side into one. Next, I moved on to the guy on the right. Again, I copy and pasted the rock pattern next to him, and this part of the rock was relatively dark, so it wasn't too complicated to line up and make it look realistic. I modified the angles just a little so the darkness would line up with the lightness, but overall, the pattern was pretty simple. For this next section, I copy and pasted the small area of the ground floor, and since I had a bit more creative liberty, I tried to cover up as much of the guy as possible. Finally, I moved on to this little other rock section, and this part was also pretty difficult since the rock patterns were a lot more dynamic and less cohesive, so it was hard to make it look realistic and natural. This section, I just copy and pasted the side rock, but again, I adjusted the angles just a little bit so it wouldn't look too redundant and artificial when it comes to the final product. When I moved on to this rock part at the bottom, the lighting was super weird, so I had to just rotate the rocks in many different directions to get the darkness and the lightness to line up. It's sort of like putting together a puzzle, so you kind of just have to eyeball what you think looks the most best and what looks most natural. Again, I did this across the entire rock, so I tried to just make sure the natural dark parts of the rock were all lined up together with what the section I copied and pasted it with. It ended up looking a bit messy overall for this section, but it wasn't too substantial to notice, and I still believe it would be better than keeping the guy there originally. Finally, for this last section, again, I copy and pasted the original rock pattern, and I tried to switch it up just enough such that it wouldn't look too repetitive or too artificial, such that it didn't look like I was just simply copy and pasting a section onto another one. The last part was the floor again, which was super easy, all because of the dark colors. And overall, when it comes to editing out people and things in general in Ibis Paint using this strategy, it's the best product when you have a darker, simplistic background compared to a really intricate one. I collapsed all my edits again for this side, and I noticed that something looked a bit off, so I blurred it so it was easier to ignore, and it just looked more smooth and blended in with the actual background. Overall, I think this worked really well. Please make sure to subscribe and put any questions in the comments. Have a nice day!